Hello friends, welcome to How to VLAN channel. This is DBA VLAN stream. Today, in this video, we are going to see how to use Oracle Golden Gate Utility Guard log dump to find the relative byte address which is RBA corresponding to a CSN commit sequence number. So, this is Oracle Golden Gate 21.3 in action, and uh, thanks for joining with me. Let's get started. Okay, the, what is this log dump in Oracle Golden Gate? So Oracle Golden Gate log dump is an utility which is used for troubleshooting Golden Gate replication issues. Could be because of conflicting transaction or unsupported operations, etc. And it could be a bug as well from Oracle. The scenario that we are facing today is there's a bug. The bug that I'm highlighting is this. 33701569 uh, I was trying to set up a replication in 21.3 and the replication is failing to start and the reason is this bug and this bug is fixed only in the version 23.1 also in 21.7 and 21.8 which Oracle confirmed but I am using 21.3 so the error that we are getting when we start our replication was this OGG1211 JSON element slash does not match any schemas and the reason is Oracle is saying that you are using uh, the filter parameter value in the param file this I need to get rid of is what Oracle is saying unless I get rid of this I will not be able to restart my replication if I get rid of this I'll get duplicate records. So what Oracle is saying is, instead of using this CSN, the bug is actually usage of the CSN in the replicate. So Oracle don't want you to use CSN. Instead, Oracle is asking you to identify the trial sequence number and the RBA number and to start the replication from there. Okay. So I'm trying to figure out what is my RBA. And I haven't had much of expertise in the log dump. I started setting up a Golden Gate replication for a particular scenario or a purpose and that is how I discovered this log, log dump utility usage on this particular situation. Okay, So I am taking you through the situation I am facing. You see here, this is where my replication stands. This is my replicate process and you see it has not identified the RBA yet. It is on the first file. I have only two extract files. I am going to show you those. There's the first file and then there is one more file called 01. You see it's stuck at RBA0. It doesn't have any information about CSNs, low or high or anything. And RBA also it doesn't show. It doesn't show any information. Alright. So, and the error message, this error message file did not show any information about why is it failing. It just reported that it doesn't match any schema. It was very weird error. Alright. So, Replicate is not able to navigate through the extract file and is stuck at RBA0 with extract sequence 0. Yeah, That's what we saw. No errors in the G ggscrr.log. Now, as part of this, I have what we have to do is this replication setup. I already have enabled the extract in the source and the extract was running. I took a backup of the as part of this replication setup, I took the backup of the database and source, restored it in the target f using an SCN459732. So I want my replication to start from here. Say more than 7459732 because my database was recovered until this time. So my database is already on 7459732. So I need to go from 459733. And the timestamp I saw in the recovery was incomplete recovery applied until change time this. So I wanted to go beyond 1748.09. This was the alert I have in my recovery. Now what are the steps involved? So I need to use the log dump utility from GG Home bin. And I need to turn on some setting. And then I need to check the, re the extract files. As far as I am concerned, I am sure this extract file was generated before this timestamp. So, whatever this timestamp is, I can I will be able to check it in the OS command itself, which file corresponds to this timestamp. 
okay then I'll pick up that file I have two files I don't have to open both of them but we are going to see even if you open what will be the result and then we need to filter the file based on this ACN and then we need to check the records so then the next command with this setting it will show you the RBA number that RBA number we can use to resume our replication I'm not going to show about the repli resume, replication resume because it's part of another video but just identification of the RBA is part of this video okay usage of log dump all right so we have three sir we have two screens this screen is where we are going to have log dump and this is the screen where I have my oh sorry where I have my um, the extract files all right so if we look at this it is uh, 26 August 2023 1748 okay this doesn't give us any clue because 2159 it closed and 2301 this one closed okay this is where my extract files are kept so I run stat command it was modified at last at 2159 as the timestamp was showing it was opened by us now right anyway so <coughs> we know we have to now assess both of the extract files. the timestamp in the OS doesn't give us a clue now we confirmed it because it shows 1748 but it has time until 2159 so we need to assess both these extract files let's look at the extracts now <coughs> okay these are these two extract files and now I'm going to start the log dump and as usual we will verify our environmental setting we have OGG home already set and it's part of the path so wherever I can be it since in the path I am just starting the log dump utility I started the log dump and I'm setting all my environmental variables and there is a brief description about what each of this in the log dump utility help guide you can take a look all right so there is no output for this so we just capture whatever is coming here it's just an environmental setting next I need to open this extract first isn't it so I open this extract and I need to go to the position 0 this is an iteration okay I went to the position 0 I am looking for an filtering the file based on the CSN anything more than this I need so I need to verify if the filter was applied properly which show filter yes include matching any this value exclude match any nothing only I want to include anything beyond this so next he doesn't show anything filtering suppressed all the records which means that this file doesn't have anything more than this 459732 ACN now I need to open the next file so let me clear the filter right show filter now it's nothing now let's open the next extract I opened it so this 0 0 is closed 0 1 is opened I need to go to the position 0 again and I need to apply the filter show filter and n is a short form of next so 4 5 9 7 3 2 you see here I have filtering suppressed 34 records and it printed rest I see the RBA here 36083 and you see this timestamp right 2023-0826-1647-28 so if we look at the timestamp we had in the restore and recovery it was 1748-4809 isn't it and here you see this the next the timestamp of this RBA is 2023 August 26 1748 28 so that's the timestamp followed by this 4809 so 174809 there and 1748 
28 here the next check moment or the time uh, at which this transaction has begun so we have this information that we needed and uh, I'll just do a count you see here how many are filtered at RBA 36083 36083 is the RBA count begins from here it has 320 records 34 are suppressed so totally 364 records I think this particular file had all right so yeah so this is this is what we wanted to see guys and we have it if you want to have a much detailed information you can increase your record length and you will be able to see it so I set the record length to 128 if I had it uh, much more I think I would see much more data and also you can enable the data filtering also to see you see here this is the only table which has been trapped in this particular uh, RBA 36083 forward but my table is not I'm not concerned about this table my table is a different table and I know I'm sure there is no transaction happened on the table hope you like this video if you really like give me a thumbs up and subscribe to how to well and channel here we end the video thank you team thanks for joining with me and thanks for supporting my channel thank you bye